regreso aquí en Auto 060 y ahora rápidamente vamos con Klaus Busse, director de diseño interior sobre la Jeep Cherokee 2014. Hi Klaus, uh, we just drove the new Cherokee, your new baby, we should say. And uh, well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, uh, must have been a really tough job doing it because it's uh, very challenging because you have put a lot in the car, and it's completely new, and and still uh, it's kind of very affordable for the price. And it, but it has a lot. So how how did that process go? Well, you know, number one, thank you very much. I appreciate you, 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 you know, like the ride. And um, the, the Cherokee, or anything with Jeep, is, is such an important brand for us. Right? It's such an iconic brand. So we can't mess with it. We have to give the customer what they rightfully deserve and expect. So uh, every, every touch point is soft, super soft, the armrest. Instrument panel is soft, high-quality materials. Uh, it's just what we owe the brand Jeep and the customer, no doubt. How's the challenge of that? Because... Uh, oh, not only you, but the competition, it's coming down in price, it seems, and adding more things to the cars. <laughs> Well, you know what? Um, we take a lot of pride that, that I think we were very smart with how we do things. It's always easy to spend money, but it's much more fun, to be honest, and challenging to work within a certain budget to create a car like the, like the Cherokee, to be able to offer it to the customer to affordable price and yet offer all these all these uh, materials. And it's, it's not only the materials we use, but how we use them. You were, you were talking about the materials you saw on the vehicle and the colors, and, and uh, we took inspiration from, from outside man-made, you know, the typical fashion inspiration that sometimes we look at. In this case, we looked for inspiration from destinations around the world. So we've got the Morocco package, the Vesuvian, of course, the Grand Canyon being a private U.S. destination. So I think that that's what gives you this rich look. But because we're clever of how we do it, you get it for a very affordable price. Yeah. And, uh, of course, you're in charge of interior, but the experience has uh, changed uh, quite a bit, too. Uh, almost like uh, changing, uh, especially the lights, the, the LED lights, are not typical from Jeep. No, it was time to move on. Um, you know, Jeep has such a nice white portfolio. We have the Wrangler. The Wrangler will, in its fundamental appearance, not change, right? We will evolve it. And then we have the Grand Cherokee side of the business, the more premium, more muscular design. And, and the Cherokee is now orienting, orientating itself more like the, the Grand Cherokee, its big brother. Much more streamlined, air efficient, aerodynamic, and going into a new direction for Jeep design. So the headlamps you're talking about, those LED lamps, look really, really slick, almost like a show car. A really, really fresh yeah, look. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And also, uh, I mean, it's still a Jeep. I mean, we're just the uh, DD off and actually, this is radio, of course, but we are overlooking a canyon here, and we just seen the vehicles crawling up of rocks and, like, seem to be impossible uh, hills, and they, they manage really well. But, uh, again, back to the look of it, you're trying to appeal to an, an, a broader market, right? Like, this is a global car. Uh, so that maybe that's why the reasons for the change in design, exterior and interior? It's, it's a mix of, of a lot of things, but one of the factors is certainly what you're talking about. Um, you know, we have, again, with the wide portfolio we have, we have for the hardcore fan, we have the Wrangler. And, and for the Cherokee, we're certainly looking for a, a, a wider audience uh, for this car. So you can use it on road for daily commute, but as, you, as we can see and, and your, your listeners can, we're look, overlooking this, this off-road parkour here. And it's flat out amazing what the car can do. It, is, it can do the Rubicon Trail. And for those listeners who know what the Rubicon Trail is, that means a lot. Yeah, I've, I've done it before with you guys, thanks to, to Jeep in the past, and it's amazing. And just to give a little bit of perspective, it's more or less an eight-mile trail, and it takes like five hours. <laughs> that, that, that's some right. You, you can walk it faster than exactly, you can Exactly, because it. you climb, like you make a turn, and you see like just rocks, and you say, like, uh, this car cannot do it, and yes, yeah. the Jeep can yeah. do it. And, and, this, and this can too, which is and, proven. Yeah, uh, and we have, you know, we... we We have versions within Ch Cherokee. We have the Limited, which is, you know, your, your daily commuter, but with the capabilities of a Jeep. And then with, within the Cherokee package, we have the Trailhawk, and that is the one that is really zero compromise off-road. So we, we have the Cherokee in different flavors. Yeah, well, thank you very much, Klaus, again, and congratulations on the great job. I'm sure you're, you'll be seeing already planning the next thing, right? We sure do. We <laughs> always work on the next best thing. Never Thanks, for, Thank Thanks for having me. Bye. Que bueno, no se vayan esto... No, bueno, ya se tienen que ir porque esta es la última edición, el último segmento de Auto 060. Los espero próximamente aquí nuevamente en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.